Mm. Have you heard of 2019 dating trends used by millennials? Dating trends? Mm -hmm. No. So what I'll do, yes. I'll ask you a few questions, yeah? I'll ask you six questions, yeah? yeah. So uh, this terms I'm going to ask you are used by millennials in relationship context. Mm -hmm. So if you've heard of a word, tell me what, you, what, you, what it means or what you think it means. Mm -hmm. If you haven't, it's all right. You can tell me, let me know and I'll tell you what it means. Okay. And then once I tell you what it means, you, you can tell me if that has been done to you or you have done it to somebody. Okay. Could you raise your hand? Do you promise to tell the truth, nothing but the truth? I swear to tell the truth as I deem it to be the truth. So help me God. <laughs> First one. Come on. Yeah? yeah. Have you heard of ghosting? Eh? Have you heard of ghosting? Is it when you just go off the radar? Mm -hmm. Ignoring someone on the text and stuff, like mm -hmm. just blocking them from everything, just disappearing from their lives. Yes. Ah, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. What about it? Have you ghosted somebody? A lot. Yeah? Wengi. <laughs> <laughs> that guy was a bit too aggressive. So I was like, I don't deal with this anymore. So I'm just going to stop all communication. <laughs> so there's this guy um, I used to know, and then I thought we had chemistry. And after like two or three dates, um, he just ghosted me. And I didn't know what happened. Since the same way your boat leaves the house without telling you that she's a returned job, she just doesn't come. She asks one off, she disappears and she doesn't come back. So it's not ghosting, it's just nini. Time apart, just not defined how much and we don't really, you don't know, yes, it's me who knows. What happened? I disappeared. <laughs> now she'll know. <laughs> Crazy ones, the ones who call you all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Have you heard of sneeting? Sneeting? No. Sneeting. So snitching is when you go out with somebody, mm -hmm. you don't like them, yeah. but you go out with them, and you, but you're there for the food, plainly for the food. free food. Food? Yes. You can go out because of food? Yes. What? Yes. Not even the lungula? <laughs> that, that has been done to you? Probably, who knows. Yeah. Okay. People do that. I'm a foodie. Yeah. I, I would like to call myself one. I love good food. I eat everything, mostly everything. Mm -hmm. So whenever there's an opportunity for me to like indulge in good conversation and good food, why not? So yes, I've yeah. done it a couple of times. <laughs> so that's survival. By the way, they shouldn't call it snitching is survival. <laughs> I say like, yo, if you want to do that to me, sir, like, yo, let eat. I don't want people to die just because they were hungry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you get your own food. <laughs> mm -hmm. Third one. Obiting. Orbiting. That sounds nasty. The chewing gum orbit. <laughs> this has nothing to do with planets, believe me. So orbiting is um, ghosting somebody, but you still keep up with their lives on social media. You still check their Insta stories. You still check. Everybody their does that. Yeah. Everybody does that. That's criminal. That happened to me. Yeah. Even yesterday it happened. <laughs> yeah. Nigga, you know yourself. Stop. <laughs> why would I? <laughs> Give us a reason why you're beating somebody because today. I'm, because I still have feelings for them. It's not healthy. Right? Yeah, it's not. I think I'm doing it right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's this guy. I like, but I, I, you know, we can't be like that. Mm -hmm. But then we're always up on social media. We're following each other. Instagram stories, always commenting on each other's. I always know where he is, uh, where he's hanging out and whatnot, but then not anything physical or like to be in each other's physical space. Have I done that? I stalk my exes. That's mental. That's weird. I have not said I obited. I just said, yeah, kinda. Kinda. As if, but not really quite. Here's one I think you're guilty of. Which one? Carving. The hell is carving? <laughs> This is letting down somebody nicely. So how you do it is like, so I'm, someone is chatting you up, texting you, hey, how you doing? Mm. And then they say, could we go for dinner? So obviously you don't want to. Come that day, you go MIA. A few days later you text, you say, oh, I'm so sorry. Work has been busy, oh, my phone broke. Just reasons. And, and the person tells you, actually, let's make brand new plans. This time, I'll be there. Come that day, 
another reason uh, again yes that's happened to me yeah, yeah. Uh, we were supposed to meet for uh, like drinks, lunch, dinner, whatever, and suddenly, oh, my pet got sick. <laughs> I'm like, okay, take care of your pet, it's fine. I think I've done that. <laughs> Do I sound like a terrible person? Not at all. <laughs> I find it hard to, to tell people no, so... So, hey, I'm going to be Down to me, yeah, a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some context. Context? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was curved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so you have curved? I yeah. I've never been guilty of that in my life. Has it been I will done to not you? make plans with you. I'm a Capricorn. We do and we say and what we, exactly we want. Two more. Mm -hmm. Pocketing. Pocketing. Sounds like something stealing for me. You pocket all the time? I pocket all the time. <laughs> to look cool. <laughs> if you're somewhere in an elevator or you're somewhere like you don't know people and your phone is dead, so you can't look at your phone. So you just pocket. Because you know when your hands are free, you're not go, do I put my hands like this? <laughs> now pocketing is when you're with somebody, but you would never introduce this person to your friends, not even your family. Either because you don't want them to know, or you don't think he looks good enough to introduce them, or whatever reason, you just can't introduce them to your social circles. I don't think I've done that to anybody. Even church. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've done that too. Connie, this relationship is for the three of us, and the four of us, and the five of us. She's just the two of us. So I kept this stuff to myself. So I didn't have to introduce her to anybody. Mimi na we are dating, but these other people, they don't need to know. They don't need to know. I've never done that that many times. Damn, maybe mildly, if you want to times. I'd pocket a chick if, if maybe I have another thing with another chick. <laughs> not that I have not <laughs> not that I'm playing to mamas, no. What kind of show is this? <laughs> one last one. Instagram standing. Instagram standing. I know there's an Instagram there, but mm -hmm. there is the ground part. Standing. <laughs> Instagram standing is create posting like posting a picture on Instagram mm -hmm. because you know somebody's watching because you want to get the attention of that crash. Is and that nonsense with the quotes? Which one? Well, guys post nice photos with a quote. The Lord giveth and taketh away in a bikini. Not quite, but this time you're trying to get the attention of a crash or just someone you have or in an mind ex. or an ex. You're trying to get the attention. Eh? Like too much juice. Mm, too much juice. Can never have enough. Saucy. Tell me someone who hasn't done that. I think we've all done it. Really, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. What lengths have you gone to do that? Length. Say, come to where you are, your towel, uh -huh. where you live, I'm in your hood, uh -huh. and post about how I'm doing this and that and doing this and that. Is it the picture? <laughs> People do that! How hard is that? That is so easy. And then, obviously, you get like a DM. Yeah, you're in my hood and you can't even holler. <laughs> One meal. We've started wasting a lot of time on social media. In fact, that's what is actually affecting our millennials in this day and age. Sometimes I've done it towards someone. And you're outside the house. <laughs> yeah. Number 22. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. But you see, you're hoping she'll reach out and say, hey, yo, you're in my hood. I don't think she'll do that. She'll call the police. 